Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Attila Pinke, and in today's video, we're going to talk about that uh, the whole market is really actually dumping now. Uh, you know, the stock market is dumping, Bitcoin is going down, altcoins are going down, gold is going down, silver is going down. The exception is the dollar. The dollar is going right now up, and this actually caused uh, these other things is still a big uncertainty on the market. So let's talk about that. What's happening? The second news will be that uh, there are optional uh, Bitcoin contracts expiring this Friday, which actually can cause uh, bigger volatility. Depends what's happening, how the people uh, react. And uh, what are the options? We're going to discuss that. And uh, the third news will be that uh, more and more Bitcoin, Bitcoin fans are also investing in old coins. For example, the tech billionaire uh, Tim uh, Draper, who you know famously bought uh, 30,000 Bitcoin back in 2014, uh, has now uh, told the public that he also investing <clears throat> in old coins because he thinks this is also a great option. So let's talk about that as well. All this in today's video. And if you would like to uh, stay up to date in blockchain and cryptocurrency, the only thing what you have to do really just subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Blue, and we deliver you the freshest and hottest news in blockchain and crypto every weekday from Monday to Friday. Every day you're getting a brand new video here on YouTube. You just should really um, hit the subscribe button next to it, the notification bell so you get the videos as soon as they're out and you can stay up to date with us. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and uh, Instagram. Uh, plus, I have a great course for you which is all about how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Prepare yourself for the bull market. Keep your crypto safe. A lot of safety steps, everything in this totally free course. A lot of uh, quality things. And the link is right under this uh, video. So you can just download it for free. And now let's check out the market, how it looks like. Okay, so Bitcoin, we have Bitcoin at $10,312 which is a minus 1.13% decrease in the last 24 hours. We have Ethereum at 325, which is a 4% uh, decrease. When we're looking at uh, the top winners, we have uh, Helium, because they uh, got listed on Binance now, and therefore it went up uh, 46%. Uniswap, it's uh, recovering uh, quite nicely, 16% in plus, and Kusama, 8%. When we had check out the top losers, we have uh, Avalanche, minus 16%, Digibyte, minus 13%, Lisk, minus 10%. So these are the top losers and top winners. And now let's uh, check out what's happening on the market, because basically, right now, everything is dropping. It's really not just the stock market, it's really not just cryptocurrency. It's also including gold and uh, silver, so the precious uh, metals. And uh, it's all because, you know, here you can say that gold and silver and other commodities tumbled after the dollar got a lift from Chicago Fed President Charles Evans, who said that the central bank could raise interest rate before the average 2% inflation target is reached. And this is the reason why gold, uh, sorry, uh, where dollar went up and this pushed everything down. So they're saying actually they can uh, raise interest rate even before the average 2% inflation target rate is reached. <coughs> so of course this is now, uh, and, and still it's going on. So it's, it can happen that the next couple of days, uh, the dollar is still getting stronger uh, going up um, in this way. And then everything else it's going down so this is a little bit a bearish scenario let's check out how it looks like so um when we're looking at now you know uh, bitcoin uh, then we can see that uh, here was actually uh, the recent peak it little bit went back you know above 11000 uh, on the 11th uh, sorry 18th of september and then since it's really uh, coming back but it's still holding itself above ten thousand dollar but of course if the stock market keeps dropping there is it's very likely that uh, bitcoin will follow because right now they're really 
correlated. Bitcoin is following the stock market. And uh, it's also likely that it actually can go down to maybe, you know, under 10,000, 9,000 something. But uh, maybe not. I mean, there are a lot of, you know, buying options <clears throat> fixed uh, around 9,000 under it, above it a little bit. So it definitely can uh, push back the price as soon as the price drop to this level because there are a lot of buying power will enter uh, to the market. When we looking at, uh, you know, the S&P 500, look, it's also here, the, the 2nd of September, it was uh, the top. And then since it's now, it started to uh, really go down and look, it came all the way uh, from, uh, yeah, came all the way from uh, uh, 3,600 something and um, now it's down here, 3,200. So yes, it, we, we can see a drop and it can actually continue. We will see the stimulus checks would be a huge help if they will enter to the market. So finally they will vote for it. Because, you know, uh, Trump is for it, uh, Jerome Powell is for it, and, and so many others, you know, but the Congress, you have they have to convince them as well. And so finally, when these stimulus checks will be launched, then it definitely can change this trend. But right now, there's big uncertainty in the market. And look, uh, what we have here, gold, even gold now, look, it's about uh, very similar we have it here in august it was the peak because here uh it came down already significantly it went back and you know here on the 2nd of september when the stock market started to drop it also started to drop and now look you can see in the uh, recent uh, days so this is here the 21st of uh, september it came down even under um 1900 and uh, it's very similar. If you just look at this thing, you know, let's go back and uh, that's not the daily one. Let's go on the weekly. And if we go back with the weekly and when you just uh, look here all around back in 2008, around the financial crisis time. Look, it also had a rally up here and then it came down. It was again correlated with the stock market. But then, even though the stock market stayed down uh, a bit more, gold turned back and, you know, it went up significantly. And this was happened actually uh, this time as well. And uh, hopefully, Bitcoin will be correlated to gold in this case and decouple from the stock market. And therefore, it can also have uh, its own rally. So this is the reason why right now uh, everything is, is dropping. It's kind of because of the the dollar and it's, it's introduced that uh, the inflation rate uh, can go higher than 2%. Okay, uh, the second news, which could be either bearish or either bullish, we will see right now it looks like it, it, it's rather bearish or won't have any uh, significant uh, pressure on the market is that, uh, you know, there are this optional uh, Bitcoin contracts, which are going to expire. And um, these contracts, the majority of them is set between $11,000 and $12,000 uh, per Bitcoin. And, uh, you know, in this article, you can see that lots of Bitcoin Ethereum options, so it's actually not uh, just Bitcoin, it's also Ethereum contracts expire on Friday. It could cause volatility, uh, according to many experts, and equal, nothing could happen in option contracts. Trades are not uh, obliged to buy asset once the contract expires. So it's optional, as you know, uh, it's said here, uh, which means that uh, they do not have to buy if they don't want. And uh, obviously now, because the majority of the contracts are set between eleven thousand and twelve thousand, and Bitcoin price is way under it it's not that likely that why would they buy it on that price if the price is actually uh, cheaper. And um, here you can see that if a large number of contracts holders use this ability to purchase Bitcoin, if before the contract expires, that would uh, you know place an upward pressure on the cryptocurrency price. 
which I don't think it will happen if the price stays like this. Likewise, if the contract holders use their option to sell, it would place a downward pressure on the Bitcoin price. This could happen because right now Bitcoin price is uh, actually uh, lower than eleven and twelve thousand dollar. However, it could also have a little impact at all. It's also possible if the option contract expires without being exercised, so being used, not sell, not buy. Then they won't place upward or downward price pressure on Bitcoin. So there are basically three scenarios people going to buy and it will push it up. This is less likely at the present. They will sell and if you push down Bitcoin price, it can happen or it will stay natural because they don't uh, touch it, don't use these uh, options either direction. So interesting what's going to happen and this will be expired on this Friday. So yeah, pretty soon. And this will also, uh, this can also have an uh, effect on the market impact. Okay, and now the third news is all about that uh, more and more Bitcoin fans, Bitcoin bulls are also interested in old coins because now we have actually more and more quality old coins around there, which actually can go up much better than Bitcoin when we are really in the bull rally, you know, in the bull market. And uh, one of the Bitcoin bulls, Tim Draper, uh, reveals the secret of his old coin portfolio. And, you know, he's famous that uh, back in 2014, he bought 30,000 Bitcoin uh, on the price $632 uh, dollar per coin. And uh, this initial Bitcoin, invest Bitcoin investment has increased by uh, 1,500%, so very well. And now it's approximately uh, $315 million. And he actually predicted back in 2018 that in a couple of years, Bitcoin can go up to $250,000 per Bitcoin. In that case, his portfolio will be $7.5 billion. So very <laughs> great investment, but this is... So far, a prediction, okay? And uh, he's saying that um, he also invested in old coins. In his portfolio, you can say Bitcoin Cash, you can see XRP, Tezos, and Aragon. So it's he's not getting really crazy with this, uh, you know, hidden gems and those old coins, which are really in this old coin uh, forest, which actually can have uh, greater growth just because of their size. Um, you know, all these XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Tezos are really the top uh, old coins. So maybe he has also other ones. He just hasn't relieved it, but he's talking about these. But right now in his portfolio, it's not just Bitcoin because, you know, there are so many Bitcoin maxes out there. They just uh, support Bitcoin, nothing else. Even uh, Ethereum is a scam for them. And um, But now this is kind of changing. More and more people see the opportunities also in old coins. And... Um, Therefore, we can see that there are right now actually a lot of quality old coins out there. Who will stay around? Nobody knows, obviously. But we can see projects which are actually finally working. We're just not dreaming about it that, yeah, okay, one day it's going to happen and, uh, you know, it has a great future. We have working projects. Uh, and uh, this is, I think, now very important. This is different now when we compare it to 2016 and 2017, back to that bull market. Right now, we have working things and we invest, can invest in them. <coughs> so, yes, now we're changing the trend, that uh, seeing a, a change in the trend that more and more people also invest next to Bitcoin in uh, old coins. And some of these are the, the big uh, Bitcoin bulls. For example, him. Okay, guys, if you like the content, then smash the like button. I highly appreciate it. And also, if you would like to just stay simply up to date in blockchain and cryptocurrency, the only thing what you have to do, just subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom, and we keep you up to date as uh, we put videos on YouTube 
every weekday a new video. So from Monday to Friday, every day you're getting a brand new video and you should uh, hit the notification bell so you get these videos as soon as they out because it's important to get the information very fast. So yes, you can really stay up to date uh, with us. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and download this totally free course the link is right under this video. It's all about how to start to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. A lot of valuable information to keep your crypto safe and do this before you start to invest. Or if you have started already, just double check it. Have you done everything? You know, nothing to lose. It's free. And of course, I see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.